Everything is from Allah and we praise Him upon all conditions. This is what it is. On the day of judgment, a caller will call. Where are those who used to praise Allah? Whether it was happiness or sadness, they still praised Allah. They will be given a VIP treatment. Because they praised Allah. In sickness, they praised Allah. We all have to get sick. Have you thought about something? A flu. You know the normal flu that we have. It is sometimes seasonal. It comes back every year. Why? Some of us are healthier, maybe every two years, maybe a little bit more or less. A guy like me with a weak immune system, I thank Allah. It happens much more often. But Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah. Why does Allah make us go through that every... To, to realize how powerful He is and how weak we are. No matter who you are, small droplet infection can actually make you bedridden for two weeks. And you are a powerful person, subhanAllah. To show you, man, you are actually very, very insignificant compared to Allah. Just thank Allah. Thank Allah. Let that be an opportunity of gaining closeness to Allah. Now let's get to those whom Allah blesses with children. Number one, I firmly believe that as you get married and you've chosen a good spouse, and mashallah, you've made the right decisions and you've looked at the guidance from Allah and now you're married. It doesn't mean you need to have children ASAP. As soon as possible, we're going to have offspring. If you've chosen that in an enlightened fashion, Alhamdulillah. And if it has happened from Allah, Alhamdulillah. But if you could, I'd rather you actually gave it a little bit of a break to get to know one another a little bit better this advice would not have been given to you a few decades back, but now it is. Because we are facing thousands, if not millions of children of divorced couples, broken homes, who are struggling, who've lost the path completely. And it was quite simple to wait. When I look at them, they were normally and usually born within the first year of marriage, sometimes the next. Why didn't you just wait a while? I need to make sure that I really believe this person is deserving to be the father of my kids or the mother of my kids. It's not haram from an Islamic perspective. No, not at all. Especially when you see the result of the mistakes people are making. They have one kid, two, three, four, and after that everything is gone. What happened? You kept her pregnant. Why? For whatever reason. It's not prohibited. But why did you bring in kids when you knew there was something wrong with your relationship or you were not yet 100% certain of it? It's not wrong. You cannot speak about raising an ummah without advising couples to say, be careful, hold on, relax. Don't just be so quick 